Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Crazy Kryptonaut channel. I'm Zester, and today we're going to be going through a tutorial and a review of Lobster.co, the platform that a vast majority of people utilize to purchase their stellar lumens and have been holding their stellar lumens on probably for quite a long while. What we will be doing today is actually sending stellar lumens to Lobster.co will be trading them for other cryptocurrencies that the exchange and platforms allow us to before we will then be sending our stellar lumens off to a ledger hardware wallet in order to keep them safe. And so before I do jump in to the tutorial, I do have to go through one little uh, announcement, and that is that I am in no way a financial advisor. Everything that you hear and see today is for entertainment purposes alone. Keep in mind that my name and on the channel is Crazy Kryptonaut, not saying invest in what I talk about Kryptonaut. So everything that we're doing today is just a matter of learning and entertainment. So having that covered, let's go ahead and actually jump in to Lobster. So over here, we're actually on the home page. And from this point, we're going to go ahead and go to the first thing that I'd like everyone to kind of check out and, and understand. And this will be my one negative that I would like to kind of express about the Lobster platform. And so it is their fee structure. So we've come over here. We went from home where you can see that I had a little bit of XLM that I was practicing with and playing around with on the platform earlier. But we're going to actually come over to buy and sell crypto. Now that we're looking at that one, we'll see that we have the option right here to make a purchase of $200 in order to receive 1,285 XLM. And so Lobster provides this. Lobster allows you to purchase with Visa, MasterCard. They allow you to utilize Stripe, which is another option right here. You can click straight between in order to go between the two different platforms. But what I really want to focus on today in terms of my negative is the fee structure. So when we actually click continue on that purchase, what we find out is that we would receive 1,285 XLM for a total cost of $207. And that is a substantial fee. And it makes sense. Lobster is making it easy. They're allowing you to purchase with your Visa, with your MasterCard. They have service providers like MoonPay and Stripe that make that happen. I am a bit ornery. I'm not going to spend any dollars on anything I do not need to. And so let's go over for one second and let's actually check out on Coinbase. And so over here on Coinbase, let's go to advanced trading and let's look at XLM to USDT. And so keeping in mind this number, 1,285, let's go ahead and type in that we wanted to purchase 1,285 XLM. What we can then see actually over here is that on Coinbase, that purchase of 1,285 XLM would come in at $195.19. And so real quick, for everyone wondering why I'm not making a purchase with my dollars on Lobster today during this review, uh, it's right there. I'm not going to pay 12 more dollars in order to make the transaction. But Lobster does have a lot of other amazing things going on with it. So let's go ahead and, and jump into some of those other ones. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a small purchase of XLM on Lobster. So let's go ahead and get 150 and let's click buy. Now we're making a market purchase, so no, no limit order or anything. And we can see down here actually that our order has immediately filled. So what we're going to do is come back over to regular Coinbase, head over to my assets, and we're gonna look down here for our Stellar Lumens. And so they have already arrived, we've already got them. What we're gonna do is we're then going to click Send. And we're going to come back over to our Lobster Wallet. 
and we're going to click receive. And so uh, ignore federation. Absolutely ignore this. This is a pretty much a, a silly thing that they have made. But we're going to come over to Stellar Address and we're going to click copy. Now that we've copied our Stellar Address, we'll come back over to Coinbase. We'll go ahead, put that in, jump back, and then we'll click max. And so what we're doing right now is we're going to go ahead and send the Stellar Lumens we just purchased on Coinbase over to our Lobster Wallet. And so keep in mind, all we did was go to receive. We came to Stellar Address. We clicked copy. That was it. We go back to Coinbase. We can then check the last four, which is something everyone should do whenever you're sending your cryptocurrency somewhere. Check the last four digits. We've got 2KQM. If we come back over here, we can see 2KQM. So we are safe. We know we're sending it to the right place. Please double check on those things each time. All right, go ahead. Click the send button. Let's see how fast it happens. Now, this is a normal one for everybody sending everything along. So one second, let me get into the Authenticator app and let's get this one typed in. All right, I think we should be good there. Now we're working our way out and completed. So we have gone ahead and we've sent our Stellar XLM from Coinbase over to Lobster. Now we're going to come back and we're actually going to go to home. And uh, it's already here. It was that fast. Stellar Lumens are extremely, extremely impressive in terms of their fees and their transaction speed. So now that we've got our XLM over here, now we're going to play with, with the rest of what Lobster is capable of doing. So we're going to go ahead and, and come down to assets, which I do appreciate the fact that they have the ability for you to get all these other different cryptocurrencies. And you can go directly from Visa to MasterCard in order to get them. That is, that is definitely something that I will give props to Lobster for. It is a very easy platform to utilize. Uh, as we move along, though, because there's really not a lot to, to see here, we'll see swap and then trade. And so swap and trade, really, swap is just a simplified version. Swap allows us to come in here and say, I have 20 XLM, and I would like to trade it to USDC. All I did was type in 20. I see what I'm going to receive. I see that I'm going to be charged a 0.15% fee. And I go ahead and I click confirm. And now my swap is occurring. And so a particularly easy platform in regards to that one. And you can always just use the swap function. The fees are the same on Lobster between the swap function and the trading function. And so now that we've made a swap, we went ahead and we traded 20 of our XLM for $2.99 of USDC. We're going to come over to trade. And so what we're actually going to do now is we're going to swap this one back around. And we're going to use our USD coin to buy lumens in the trade tab. So we're down here. We see that we have about $3 of USD. We're going to switch our order type to market for those who are curious about the difference between market orders and limit orders. I do have videos that have already covered that. So please check out my link tree down in the description. There's going to be a few other things all hanging out down there. So for those who are interested in following me on other social medias or who want to learn more, please do consider going down there and checking that out. But from this point, we're going to go ahead and see, all right, how much do we want? How much do we want? So let's go ahead. It said we had three, but I believe we only had like 2.9. But it's saying that's all right. I guess it's rounding up for us. Let's go ahead and click buy. 
And so what we should see now is that we went ahead and we swapped it in the wrong direction. All right, so now that we are back and we are over at the trade tab, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the uh, $2.99 of USDC that, that we just traded our XLM over in the swap tab for, and we're going to swap it back to Stellar. And so we're going to, of course, utilize a market order because we're, we're not that worried about it. We're not making a large purchase or we're not trying to set an order to be filled sometime in the future. So market order makes sense. We go ahead and click max. We see that we've got our 6.64 XLM as the price of $1 and 19.9 is what we should receive. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell our USDC. Now, this is going to take just a small second. Lobster is actually very, very quick, which I've been impressed with. And so our offer has successfully filled. And so now if we actually go on back and we look at home, we should see that we are sitting entirely in XLM. We have nothing else that we actually own on the Lobster platform. And so we have come to Lobster with XLM. We have traded our XLM on the Lobster Exchange, and we are now going to leave Lobster with our XLM. And so in order to actually send our XLM off of the platform, we're going to come to send, and we are going to go over to, in my case, Ledger, because I prefer to keep all of my crypto on a hardware wallet. And so we're going to go over to Ledger, and we're going to actually look for our Stellar wallet address. And so here we see we've got Zester Stellar, and we would like to receive Stellar. So we're sending Stellar from Lobster. We're receiving Stellar on our hardware wallet. So we've gone ahead and we've gotten to this point where we now have our wallet address. So if anybody wants to send me free Stellar, uh, go for it. But we're going to go ahead and just click the copy button. And then we're going to come right back over to Stellar, go to send, and we're going to put in our wallet address. And remember, NJ37. So if we come back over here, NJ37, those are the last four digits of our wallet address. I always suggest that people check that out. Don't go doing anything unless you have verified the last four. So... We've got that one. We know that it's the right one, NJ37. And we actually want to send all of our XLM. So we're going to go ahead and come right over here and click the balance. That is 293.7818. And we're going to click send. Now that we have gone ahead and we have sent our XLM, we're going to be waiting a second for uh, pretty much for the computer to catch up with the blockchain because I imagine our XLM has almost already arrived over here on the other end. So we're not really interested in, in doing anything else with this. So I'm gonna reject that on my hardware wallet and keep in mind, that's what I have in my wallet is my ledger hardware wallet. I, I That's what I'm using to verify the transactions. I'm going to come over and I'm just going to wait a second because what we're waiting for is pretty much for the system to refresh. Stellar lumens are extremely quick. And so look, they've arrived. And so we have successfully gone from Coinbase with, with a purchase of XLM. We've gone to Lobster. We've traded around Lobster. We've had a little USDC. We've lost a little bit in trading fees. We still have our, our seed XLM sitting over here on Lobster. And then we have made it over to where it is safely inside of my vault. And vault is the term that I use for my, uh, for my hardware wallets. But it has completed the circle. We have done everything necessary with, with making a purchase, making a transaction, sending and receiving on the Lobster Exchange. Now, I would say there are other things that, that Lobster provides. I, I've checked through some of them, including the one that I uh, was not a fan of, the, the Federation uh, account address. That's 
That's interesting. But in all honesty, it's the difference between clicking copy address here and clicking copy address here. That's pretty much the distinction, and unless you're interacting with another Lobster user. And so in regards to the important things, we've pretty much covered them. There is one other caveat that I know is Lobster is trying to sell people where if you own a certain amount of the Aquarius project, you would no longer have trading fees. Um, in regards to that, that's cool. Uh, but why would I not just make my purchases on the platform that has lower fees in the first place, which would be Coinbase or the vast majority of other exchanges? So I would have to say in regards to using Lobster, I appreciate the simplicity. It's easy. Uh, it doesn't require you to really know that much. And that's why they charge the higher fees. They're catering towards people who are new into the crypto industry. So I think it's an excellent tool. There are times I feel like I would use Lobster on account of the fact that it is very, very easy. They do offer more than just XLM. I know that's the majority of the reason that most people got on to the Lobster Exchange, but they do offer other cryptos and that's cool to see. But because they're limited to Visa, MasterCard, they're limited to debit and credit cards, they're always going to have higher fees than exchanges that allow you to make bank transfers. Transferring to Coinbase is free. So while I have enjoyed using it and I, I do see the reason to have a Lobster account, I would not keep my assets on lobster.co. Uh, that is just my personal opinion, of course. I mean that in no negative way. I think that it is an amazing platform to assist people that are new in getting their first Stellar Lumens. But in the long run, I think that it's something that most people are going to evolve beyond. So for all of the lobster fans out there, please, please do not hold it against me. I am merely looking at this from a, from a math sense. Mathematically, uh, my money is respected more on other platforms than it is on lobster. And so unless you are solely limited to credit and debit cards and you don't have access to a bank account that can be linked to a, a larger exchange, uh, I would avoid Lobster. And so with, with all of that said, I am going to go ahead and shamelessly, shamelessly let everyone know that my uh, Stellar wallet address will be in the description as well as my link tree and other links to my social media. So if you've enjoyed the tutorial today, this was my first time ever pre-recording a video and putting it out there. So I have been learning, probably a bit nervous, utilize um and like a few too many times, but I am learning. So if you enjoyed it, you appreciated it, please do hit all those buttons, hit the shares. You can practice with sending Stellar around with my, uh, my Stellar wallet address down there. I would definitely appreciate it. My cat Valentino would appreciate it, who's uh, sitting here lazily next to me as he continues to eat like 10 pounds of cat food a day. But um, beyond that, thank you guys so much. I, I really appreciate it. And catch me in the next tutorial or a live stream, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.